Hi, and um, welcome to a new video. This video, I just want to do a quick uh, overview of the uh, new update that's came out for the firmware, and this is for the GT AXE 16000. So, this is their new top of the range uh, router from Asus. Um, so, as you can see here, um, I'm using via the uh, web portal, so you, I'm going through the GUI and typing in the usual. Um, 192.168.50.1 um, into my uh, Chrome browser, but you can use Safari or Firefox or anything like that. Um, and this brings up the actual uh, user interface here through the uh, web uh, page. So literally I'm going on here. So as you can see, um, I've got a little bell icon. So that means that there's a, an a, a alert. So that means that there's an update um, available. And so what it means for me as well is that I can just go to advanced settings and then I go to um, administration and then I go to this tab here, the firmware upgrade. And then basically you just click on the check for update and then so if we click on that, you'll see that it will go out to the servers to check and then it will tell you if there's a, a, a update. So you can see there we've got the firmware upgrade button. So also you can uh, download this file manually from Asus's uh, website. So you can go there, download it and upload it manually by clicking here. Um, or you can um, just, as I did, check and then just do automatically download and it'll automatically do it for you. So it's always good. Um, also, just to let you know that where it says the latest version, you can always click on that and it does always bring up the release notes. So it gives you some ideas of what's happening. Um, within the updates and what it fixes. So as you can see here, it does got quite a few fixes and security updates. As I said, it's always probably best to perhaps just leave it for um, a while before you do upgrade, just to have a look to see if uh, if there's any issues with the new update. Um, and if there's none reported that you can see of, then it's best to update. But just be wary that you can update this to this newer version. And if you do feel like there's an issue with the update, it's caused you to um, slow down. So I know I saw in the comments, some people have updated the new firmware and it's suddenly their Wi-Fi has got slower and things like that. If that is the case, you can go back to Asus's website and they've got an archive of all the um, different and older versions of the firmware. And you can just go back and download that older version of the firmware and uh, re-upload that to your router if you're having issues if you do upgrade so that option is there as well so as we can see here it does fix quite a few things and enhancements so you can see now we've got support for a wireguard vpn server and client so i think that's a really big one um, also around the uh, vpn fusion so that's the uh, vpn manager that we have there so now it basically makes it easier to achieve vpn connections for uh, devices connected to your network, like smart TVs and game consoles. Um, so basically that helps without installing a VPN client software on those devices, so like smart TVs and things like that. And even game consoles um, sometimes don't have the um, option to actually install a VPN client. So you can set it up by the VPN Fusion. Um, like I've said, um, if you look at my playlist, I've got a video there going through the VPN options. Uh, where you can set that up. Next, uh, we've got the support for new device connection notification. So that's within the app as well. So if your new devices uh, connect to your network, you get a notification as well. So that's always good for security. Um, we've got also the supported connection. So this is the, the diagnostic on the Asus. Uh, this is just for the Asus router app um, that you've got on your uh, iOS or your Apple device or your Android uh, uh, phone. Or tablet. Uh, so also you can see here we've got the support for Instant Guard 2.0 which has been out for a while now but also now it makes it easy to invite family and friends to join the VPN connection so you can share the connection with them. Again just be wary I think like uh, I had some uh, questions in the comments previously. Instant Guard is not an actual, um, it might act as a VPN but it's not actual like your Nord or private VPN or any of the third parties. So this is for you to access your 
home network mainly so you, if you're away you can access your router and all your devices on your home network and also it does secure the connection like a vpn but it won't hide your ip address so when you do start browsing the internet it will show your ip address of your home network so um, that can be good so if you're uh, away abroad and you can't access a streaming service uh, like for the bbc you can't access when you're abroad I can use Instant Guard, quickly connect just with one bu uh, button, one click basically using the app. And then um, it's using the connection so it sees me as back in the UK. Then we've got the upgraded parental controls as well. So you've got added rewards, so you've got new schedule and flexible settings. That's really good to see as well that they're constantly updating the parental controls because I think that's one of the most important things. Keep children safe. Um, then we've got the fix the USB icon issue in the port status. So again, I think this is where the uh, USB icon wasn't showing correctly um, when you were plugging in your USB device um, there. So it wasn't actually showing up as being plugged in. We've got a security uh, fix here as well. So this is a response uh, vulnerability. Um, so again, again, uh, Asus is very good. It always takes on uh, third party um, information and everything else that's reported to them and they fix it so it's always good to see that they're always constantly doing that um, and also they've fixed the status page uh, html vulnerability as well so that, that's good uh, any vulnerabilities that are getting fixed especially with html and things like that because this is what the main actual uh, gui runs on and then we have uh, some cve uh, fixes as well so I'll put the information and links so you can read through those there is several here I won't go through them like before because I think uh, a lot of you probably uh, are <laughs> not too interested as long as they're fixed as you can see here it's around the security items and some vulnerabilities around the IPSEC server that's for your VPN server as well um, but I think the main one for taking away here is the supported VPN and uh, server and client uh, so this firmware version is now um, ending in a 4.388 underscore 21617. So as we said, so once we've just gone through the notes and everything else and you're, you're okay, you can just click the firmware upgrade button. So I'll just click that now. So it will start downloading the firmware. It shouldn't take uh, only a few minutes to download. Normally the file's not too large. Once it's downloaded, it will then uh, start to apply the update as you can see here. So it says it takes about three minutes. I would give it up to 10 minutes just to be on the safe side for it to restart and everything else. And don't forget why it is doing this, please don't switch it off or power off or anything. Even if it freezes for a bit, uh, just, just give it time because um, this is most important where you could possibly brick your um, actual uh, router um, for here. And especially as these are so expensive, the last thing you want to do. So we'll just quickly pause it here and I'll come back once it's actually upgraded. So now the upgrade is completed, you can see it did take around a bit longer, so um, be patient, it'd take me around 10 minutes for everything to reconnect and go back to the actual main screen, but it will reload, and if you do have any issues, just close the browser window and then just go type back into your the IP address of your router. The standard one is 192.168.50.1, and if it is, you've set it up with uh, HTTPS, so you want secure, then you just add the port number, 8443 that's the standard one at the end so as we can quickly see here that's already done now and that that was the uh, complete of the update so as we're in through uh, I just want to show you quickly the main feature that has um, been added now in this update um, so I'll just quickly touch on this but I'll probably do a separate video so you can see now the VPN server has uh, the menus has got a much nicer user interface now and now also includes WireGuard. So I think that's a lot of people have been looking for. Um, and it seems to be like the uh, now the user interface, as you can see here, is a much nicer, um, nice setup and everything else. So it's easy for you to people to use and set up and everything else. So that's really good to see. So yeah, so I'll do a separate video on that anyway, but that's just been the uh, features and everything else and a quick rundown of the uh, new update. So I have been using this for a uh, update for about a week. 
and I've had no issues of stability or anything on this router. So again, if you've got the uh, any other routers, it's always good to check to see if you've got that. And I'm sure these uh, other features and everything else will be coming soon. All right, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.